beautiful here. I, I can see why a person would want to spend hours and hours out here. Yeah, certainly. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it, one of the great things about fly fishing is trout really live in spots that aren't beautiful and pristine, and, and most game fish, for that matter, live only in the most beautiful places. So tell me about angler science and how you turn your love of fishing into something scientific. It's something that I think that just kind of progresses as you get more and more into fly fishing. Anglers are often the boots on the ground and the, the conservationists of, of resources because we use them all the time. Oftentimes if there's a, an issue with the stream, it's, it's, it's seen by an angler just from knowing what's happening with the water even before data can pick it up. We, you know, monitor the streams, make sure that water flows are good, water temperatures are good, uh, and we also spend a lot of time doing conservation work. So we'll be in the stream uh, repairing, riparian structure, um, stream banks, uh, native vegetation, uh, and then the kind of dual fold purpose with that is we also do a lot of uh, youth education. We're, we're kind of building future conservationists, whether through fishing or not, just getting them out in nature on the water. So tell me a little about Trout Unlimited. How's it structured? How does it work? Yeah, so there's a national organization that's shaped like most other national nonprofits, mm -hmm. but the real action is on the ground. So mm -hmm. here in Boulder, we have about 1,500 people uh, who are, are dedicated volunteers. It's in every state. So there's Trout Unlimited chapters in Texas. There's Trout Unlimited chapters in, in Alabama. It's, it's a, a national network of, of anglers and, and folks that are just interested in the health of, of fisheries and the, the wildlife that, that it supports. So what do you get out of being involved in this yourself? You get to see the, the, the fisheries health in our local area continue to improve. Seeing the trout return to, to larger numbers, healthier numbers, and native fish as well, the cutthroat trout, uh, returning to areas where they, they weren't in high abundance previously is, is just a, an awesome, rewarding experience. Uh, also get to see new individuals involved with the sport um, and share my passion with them. And what do you hope to achieve in the longer term? What's, what's huge success? Yeah, just to, to keep improving our, our local streams um, and, and to get more folks involved with the sport and build the next uh, generation of conservation. Yeah. But I mean, the great thing is if, if you do, do good work on a stream and, and you improve trout environment, you're often improving the, the bug life around it, the, the native vegetation, uh, the, the wildlife. Um, you know, it's, it, streams are kind of the lifeblood of the, the West and um, keeping them healthy is, is essential.